here with Colin Bryce on the Giants Live stand. Colin, thanks for having me. Uh, you, you weren't invited, actually. <laughs> oh, no, I just came crash the party again. <laughs> oh, mate, good to see you. Yeah, no, I'll tell you what, it's absolutely <laughs> superb. Loads of people, it's looking good. I mean, you've got the legend over there. I mean, how did you swing that one? I mean, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Well, uh, it's actually the man right here, Darren Sadler, who's been uh, Darren in to a fabulous driving force in, in everything to do with Strongman in the last 18 months. Um, you know, Darren sort of semi-retirement from Strongman has been has been my gain. Well, it's actually. been a gain, yeah. For everybody, yeah. everyone's yeah. gain. Yeah. I mean, he's he sort of he, you know uh, rejuvenated me in, in thinking that Strongman can be taken to the next level. It's not some perverse subculture. And I think we were all shocked when 5,000 people. Oh. Darren wasn't, but 5,000 people turned up to Leeds last year. I was shocked, and I think everyone was. It was like a sort of coming together of strength. Uh, uh, you know, fans and, and here today, you know, we're still finding people who haven't even heard of it saying, oh my God, I want to come. And that, that's a great thing. And, and they're absolutely loving it. And, it. and it's called putting your money where your mouth is really, to some extent. And, and you've done that, Darren, and you, you've, you've put it out there and, and people have embraced it, haven't they? They loved it. As I say, 5,000 people, we always say about it, but that is now the benchmark. It was legendary that day. Yeah, we got the 2013 now, the Europe's strongest man. Is it going to be bigger and better? Without a shadow of a doubt. We've already sold more tickets than we sold last year. We've, already, we've got six weeks to go, which is the main time when you sell the tickets. Uh, it's just about, obviously, uh, like you said, jumping in with both feet and committing to it, and that's what we did, and it paid off. Um, but anything that goes well, somebody's taken a risk for it to go well at the start, you know? Um, but it just proves that the fans are out there. So, I mean, the aim in Giants Live now is we're going to give them more. We've got two UK shows this year, big shows, big stadium shows, both on Channel 5, both on Eurosport, both World Strongest Man qualifiers, the top names at both shows, and around the world the shows are getting bigger and bigger, and there's a lot more to come. A lot more to come, says Darren, and, and Colin, finally from you. I mean, it's going to be a tough, tough competition. I've already spoke to Sven about it. Yeah, he tipped Lalas or Savickas. I mean, who's, who's your tip for it? Well, as soon as you said Lalas there, I, I, thought, I thought someone was actually quietly speaking their mind. I mean... The big Z's behind me, if I was, to, you know, I, I shouldn't even tip. I shouldn't even tip, but I think you've got a hint at who I think might win it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think the, the, the dark horse is no longer the dark horse. Uh, I think he's, he's a raging bull after winning the Arnolds. And I think, you know, the king, king may lose his crown. The Finally. king may lose his crown, and we say that very, very quietly. Darren, <laughs> yeah, 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 very quietly. And Darren, what about you? Who are you tipping for it? Uh, I wouldn't like to put any money against Savickas uh, losing it uh, or winning it, but I think um, another person that we're forgetting is Hapthor. You know, his, his level of improvement is like that, you know. Um, so I think there's probably three in the mix for it, in my opinion. Yeah. Which is, he's I your mean, most improved. He's the most improved, probably with like that. Savickas was a little bit in front anyway, but it's just how much they've improved. You got to remember coming into the last event of last year, uh, Lalas was literally just on par with Savickas. Savickas just pipped him. It was only a very close call, but that makes it interesting for the fans as well, you know. So what we want is a good show. We want all, they, all of them want to win, you know. And, and even so, you know, we've got we've got Misha Cochlev, we've got Terry Hollands, all these guys. You know, you can't write anybody off. To be fair. Can the Europe's title come to the UK? Is it a possibility? It's a possibility. You've got Terry, you've got Lawrence Shahalai. Lawrence always brings a good game, you know, no doubt about it. You know, of course it could. Radikowski. We'll have to wait and see. Radikowski, yeah, Christoph, yeah. Yeah, it's, listen, it's in the mix and it's there to be won and it's going to be one hell of a competition. And Darren, can you just tell us where to get your tickets if they haven't got them already? Can you tell them where they can go online and get them? Tickets are at europestrongestman.com. Um, yeah, and there's, there's not that many left, so you better get on. Get That's online awesome. now. I'm going to say Gateshead, August 3rd, yeah. which is where we'll be crowning the British champion. Uh, and also, it's an open competition. Got uh, two huge American names uh, Oberst, a six foot eight man from California, 180 kilos, and the LA Fitness Expo winner as well, Jerry Pritchett, uh, along with uh, Norway's strongest man. Another massive contest. That's August 3rd, Gateshead. So, you know, if, if you like your strong man, and I know we love it, but love you know, it. please back us, back the sport, uh, and let, let's make it bigger. Please come along and enjoy, because we, we, we're going to try and entertain and give us feedback tell, tell us what you like and what you didn't like and you know because you know, it, it's a growing sport we'd love to know it's a growing sport from Darren from Colin from me we love strong man and we want to see you at the competition